we got another Belo battle. I'm getting a lot of requests for more Belo, and you're gonna fucking get it because I love reacting to Belo. I think Belo likes me reacting to Belo, and you guys like me reacting to Belo. Uh, there's a lot of requests for Belo, so I wanted to use this video as kind of a waypoint. Where you comment below all the stuff you'd like me to see me react to below, and I'll react to it. But I wanted to start with this one because this was the one I had my eyes on for a while. Like, I, I have wanted to react to this when I was on my break. And I'm finally here because, as you know, I'm a comic book fan. Spider-Man's my favorite comic book character, so I, of course I love Kraven. But a little fun fact is, I am a diehard Predator fan. I fucking love the Predator movies. I love the franchise. I love the books. Like, I the, look at this thing. This thing's like a thousand. This thing is a thousand pages. I love the Predator franchise. I adore it. My mom got me into this series because that was uh, the '80s, and that was something she grew up watching. So she kind of introduced me to it. So, hmm, hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a first timer. First, first timer, yeah. We had a first time that I'm gonna go against a comic book character. I'm not gonna root for a comic book character. I'm rooting for the Predator. Belo has made history, from my recollection. This might be the first time I've actively rooted against a comic character. Belo, did you just take a first time on this channel? <laughs> Either way, I'm going for the Predator. I really hope he don't lose. <laughs> Craven's got some to poke fun at, though. Like, we're predators. Hunting Grounds, great game. I might do videos of that game someday. With my buddies. The man! MKX. Oh, God, that was so exciting. Okay. Hey! Hey! Why are you gonna do my boy like that? I don't need to use my eyes. Try to give me. Do it now. Show your own worthy competitor. No one called Chris Hansen. Not Chris Hansen. He's not that kind of predator. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, I was like, wait, but that was out of context. Fuck you, crazy. That was out of context. I'm sorry to interrupt the battle. That, that was out of context. I won't let you slander him. I won't let him slander him like that. That was out of context. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Play was dope. Ugly motherfucker. Okay. Damn, baby, let's go! There's no... Yeah, no heat! Is you off your feet? Damn right, baby! <laughs> Resorted to Who was it that you used? Hey, the dreadlocks are awesome. Yeah. I got no time to bleed. I got no time to bleed. 
He's right. Pray. Predators. In combat. Got into the chopper. Both. Oh, my heart. It was too good. 20 out of 10 battle. 10 out of 10 battle. 10 out of 10. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. I love seeing Predator get more battles. I want more. More. Pilo. You fucking crushed it, dog. Might be my favorite Belo battle. Not my favorite Belo song. You know, Hero Hero Up and the other Ben 10 Cyphers are really hard to beat, but this might be my favorite Belo battle. Oh my god, I loved it. It was so in character for both of them. I was, I was kind of concerned. I was like, how's Predator going to rap? <laughs> you know, like, Predators talk, but, you know, not full sentences. But he did a great job. Did a great job. So... If you guys don't know, we respect the bars, we break down the bars. And we have a <laughs> whole lot to break down, so get your popcorn. I'm going to break this shit down like mathematics. Okay, I need to put this book. <laughs> I need to put this book over here. It is very heavy. It is a very heavy book, and it was... <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't jump up when I wanted to earlier. Fetzer Spider-Man, great show. Spectacular, spectacular. I love how Below's avatar has a lot of references. He's got Kratos' scar, Sub Zero's mask, uh, Final Fantasy, sword. A lot of references there. RIP Carl Weathers, man. Okay, so he's starting off introducing himself, building himself up. I've been hunting for as long as I remember. Craven's been hunting for a very long time. Very, very long time. Maybe since, probably since childhood. He's, he's, been, he's been around. Uh, and he's, you know, Craven's always been looking for a challenge. You know, he's hunted fucking everything. Gorillas, bears, lions, tigers, oh my. He's hunted it all. And he's wanted a competitor that would leave him astounded, that would impress him. And as of moment, I still haven't found it. He's like, look, I fought Spider-Man. I fought, and now I'm fighting you, and I'm still not impressed. I still ain't got a worthy competitor out of you. I'll yeet this Yaucha. I'll yeet this Yaucha. Um... So, there's a lot of debate of what the Predators' names are, their species' names. Uh, some call them the Hishkutin, and others call them Yachwas, or Yachwas, or Yauchas. Like, no, but that book, that name's only in the books. That I, To my knowledge, they haven't called them that in the movies. So, I'll yeet this Yautwa, I'll yeet this Yaucha. He's gonna yeet him, he's gonna throw him, call him a Yaucha, because that's, that's his species' his name. So the predator has a cloaking device, and Craven's like, "That ain't gonna matter here. I can smell your scent. There's no need to hide. You, I'll find you." So show me who you show me your worthy competitor. He wants a challenge. Craven wants the smoke. Uh, forget Chris Hansen. I know how to catch a predator. Chris Hansen, Chris Hansen ran a show called How to Catch a Predator. Uh, so Craven's flipping that. Uh, screw Chris Hansen. I know how to catch a predator, even though predator's not that kind of predator, but he is a predator. I like that wordplay a lot. Speaking of which, it's come to my understanding that the creepers going round asking people want some, want some candy. So um, this was in Predator Two, in the graveyard scene. 
the little boy thinks he's a ghost because he's invisible, and he just says, "Hey, you want some candy?" And the little the the kid has a plastic gun, and the predator looks at it because he thinks because predator's an alien, he's not from here. He thinks the gun might be real, so he's like, mm, do, I, "Do I kill this thing or not? <laughs> Is he armed?" But he's not that kind of predator, damn it! I like how I got a fit. I this is why I love Belo's writing. Belo made me feel offended for Predator. I felt offended for him. I had to jump to his defense. He's not that kind of Predator. Candy. Suddenly your title takes a whole new meaning. Maybe that's what people do not. So he's basically hammering home the. He's calling him a sexual Predator. He's hammering that down. Care for your future screenings. I see guns as the weapons of a coward. Craven does not care for guns. And you're cooking for the food I Except for an example we'll explain later. You are not so overpowered. You have four... Yeah, yeah, so the Predator's not as overpowered as you think. They, they've they been beaten by humans before, but it depends on the level of the Predator. There's the young blood, there's the pre-bloods, young blood... No, young bloods, blooded, elite, elder... Slash clan leader and ancient. Elites don't fuck around. The predators you see in movies are at best blooded predators. Uh, besides Alien vs. Predator Requiem, in which uh, Wolf was an elite. So he's basically belittling, belittling the predator. He's like, you're not overpowered at all. Do not need another. I do Four films, we do not need another. Predator, Predator 2, Predators, Predator 2018. So this is before Prey. This is before Prey, okay. Okay, picking up. Yeah, Predator 2018, not the best. <laughs> Put it mildly, not the not the best that movie could have been. I don't need to beat your face, you're already one ugly motherfucker. That's like one of the big catchphrases of the movie. You are one ugly motherfucker. You are one ugly mother- Ah! Motherfucker. So that, that's, that's a line that's been said in a lot of the Predator movies. <laughs> So he's right, he's right, letting you know, like, look, dude, you, you think I ain't special, you ain't special to me either, boy? You mean, me, me humans, I've tested, I mean, I've hunted, look, I got a whole fucking treasure case full of them. I'm dripped out in skulls. Talk your shit. I love this bar a lot. I have thermal vision, sorry, it's allergy season in my eyes. <laughs> my allergies go to my eyes and my nose, that's two places, in my throat, three places they go. Uh, I had thermal vision on through your verse, and there was no heat. The Predator sees through, like, low thermal vision, but the mask brings it to full thermal vision like we see here. And I had thermal... So thermal vision, you see heat. You know, it tracks heat. So he's like, I had thermal vision on through your verse, and there was no heat. You had no fire in your rhymes. He said your rhymes was booty. I have fought the Xenomorphs and many other beasts. Yes, he's fought the Xenomorphs, which were the Alien and Ridley Scott's Alien franchise, and a lot of other beasts. Uh, let's see who else the Predators fought. Um, fucking Tarzan. I think that was an actual comic. He's fought Batman, Superman, uh, Wolverine. He's gonna fight Iron Man. He's fought Boba Fett in a death battle. <laughs> Predator's been around. You fought, okay, now he's belittling him. He said, you fought lions and gorillas, yet a spider knocked you off your feet. You get your ass beat by spiders? Spider-Man, a teenager, dog. He beat your ass. <laughs> so how Craven tried to belittle the Predator, you know, you're not overpowered. Predator said, all right, let's talk about you. You fought gorillas, lions, bears, but a spider beats you? Gosh dang it, my eye. Alright, that's so the last time I'm gonna scratch it. <laughs> okay, so now he's gonna rebuttal Craven's early line. You know, you know, there's no need to hide because you know he has the cloaking device. Spreader said, Oh, I'm a coward hiding my face, your brother's a chameleon! So the chameleon is a Spider-Man villain who, uh, I, I, hot tape should not be a Spider-Man villain. <laughs> I think he should be a Black Widow villain. Because he's a normal dude, but his whole thing is master of disguise and acting. Like, you know, he can become anybody. Um, but, rant over. So basically what he's saying is, you're a hypocrite. 
I'm a coward for hiding my face. Your brother's the chameleon. His whole thing is hiding his face. And yes, chameleon and Craven are half brothers. Now this is a crazy one, bro. This is a crazy. So now he's rebuttaling Craven's line about guns. He's like, I hate, I detest guns, weapons of a coward. Predator's like, all right, you hate your, you hate guns, but. Let me, let me break it down the full thing. Your, your statement on guns, so he's, re he's addressing it directly. Your, your statement on guns, look what you resorted to. And remind me when you, you sell. What was it that you used? This is a reference to Craven's Last Hunt. This was the 90s, I think. Uh, Craven was dying. He, he had like some kind of cancer or something, and he was dying. And he wanted to do one last hunt on Spider-Man. And when that failed, he took a gun and he... So he's saying, oh, okay, you're a hypocrite. Hide my face, your brother's a chameleon. Oh, you hate guns, they're a weapon of a coward. Well, when you offed yourself, remind me, what was it that you fucking used? Oh, that's right, a fucking gun. That's important to a battle. A good rebuttal is important to a battle. My strength is all raw. I don't need to take a potion. Craven gets his powers from uh, potions, like I, I think voodoo magic. Uh, Calypso makes them for him. Um, Predator's like my strength's all natural. I don't take potions. I ain't a bad blood. I don't. I don't use. I ain't juiced up. It's all natural, baby. You on growth hormone and shit. On my hunting grounds, Predator hunting grounds. You got spears, my plasma caster does some real damage. Plasma caster is the shoulder cannon. Okay, so. The thrill of the hunt made you the worst you've ever been. Yeah. Your wife brought you back only to have you kill her and your kids. So, was, I don't think this was how he was brought back in Last Hunt. Wasn't it Mysterio that brought Craven back? Because, of course, it's fucking Mysterio. This is why I love Mysterio. Mysterio is a loser. But his whole thing is basically Agatha all along. Like, he, he's a mastermind behind shit he shouldn't be. But I'm pretty sure Mysterio brought Craven back. I could be wrong. He could have came back from... Uh, I, I'm 99% sure Calypso is Craven's wife. Uh, yeah, that checks out that she bought Craven back to kill her and her kids. Uh, and their kids, rather. Because uh, this also happened. Spoilers. Spoilers for Marvel Spider-Man 2. Spoiler warning. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. It's mentioned in the audio that Craven uh, killed his kids. He had them fight for their inheritance and the winner fought him and he killed him. So Craven, yeah, Craven's family's fucked. <laughs> so now Craven's rebuttaling. He's like, home field advantage? I'm better in the safari. Craven and uh, Predator both hunting the safari. What I've done could be worse than your crossover with... What I've done could be worse than your crossover with Archie. Yes, Predator crossover with Archie. And that's all we're going to say about it. Archie, you will be... But you crossed over with Archie too, Craven. I remember the Predator, I mean not Predator, but the Punisher and Archie crossover. Don't think I don't know that. The sport, I do it to be the best. You, you have for the sport, I do it to be the best. That's kind of the same thing. I mean, I mean, if you want to break it down to that level, yeah. Like, both Craven and the Predator hunt to be the best versions of themselves. No style from the drill, I your feet. Now, don't make fun of my boy's drip. The fishnets, maybe, but the dreads? Nah, fuck you, those dreads are fire. He's got no drip from his uh, deadlocks to your fishnets, making fun of my boy Drip. Craven did beat Spider-Man when he wore the symbiote. Craven got that dog in him. If you cover yourself in mud, Predator thermal vision can't pick you up. There was never one opponent I have ever said no to. You're not invincible. You bleed so much. So you bleed, I can kill you. If he bleeds, we can kill it. That was the line from Predator. Uh, you bleed so I can kill you. That's a line from Predator. Um... There's only one opponent I've ever said no to, but you're not invincible. I know Spider-Man crossed over with Invincible, but I don't think Craven was in that crossover, was he? I'm not too sure about that one. 
Yeah. That might be the one reference somebody's going to have to explain to me. I ain't got time to bleed. There's another Predator reference from uh, Jesse Ventura. You're bleeding. I ain't got time to bleed. You won't have time to breathe. breathe. Okay, three red dots is what you'll see for I snap you from the trees. The Predator's cannon, uh, it has three red dots, basically. That's how you would know he's aiming at you. Okay, so he's like, you were a founding member of the Sinister Six. Nowadays, your character barely gets represented. He's like, you were a founding member of the Sinister Six. But where's your representation? You ain't been in any live-action movies. You're just now getting a Sony solo movie, and after Let There Be Carnage and Morbius and Madam Web, you shouldn't brag about that. Uh, other than that, you've been relying to anime and... Uh, not anime, but animation and video games, dog. Like, you you barely get represented. Like it's safe, like action in movies, and that's a Tom Dickie's new ideas, but a better because it's Tom Dickie's new ideas, but... It's not like in sci-fi action. Your movies stand at the top. It's not like sci-fi action. Your movies stand at the top. Okay, so yeah, Predators are like some of the best sci-fi action. You know, if there were Star Wars. Terminator. Yes, but some of those ideas should be abandoned. <laughs> the Predator killer armor, maybe. That was an idea I don't think that would ever... Would have been worked... Would have worked out cool. I don't think that was an idea that could have worked. Unless you bring my Arnold, no one's gonna give a damn. I would love for Arnold to come back for one movie. Just one. Yes, Predator lost to Tarzan. And Conan the Barbarian, if you want to call, count Arnold. This is Craven's Last Hunt, Craven's Last Hunt, the comic. Craven has a pet lion, pet tiger, depends on your version. Uh, can take on my hellhound, the Predator Hounds, they're fucking vicious. This is a reference to Predators, this is where the planet they took them. It's a game, it's a game preservation planet. Ripping spines like Mortal Kombat. So fun fact, Sub-Zero's uh, spine rip fatality was inspired by the scene from Predator. So he's like, I'm ripping spines like Mortal Kombat because Predator was in Mortal Kombat, but his spine rip was what inspired Sub-Zero's spine rip fatality. My technology is so advanced for me to top you, slice your head off with my wrist blade, now you got into the chopper. GET TO THE CHOPPER! Pre uh, Predator 1, and this might be a JT Music reference, because I remember that was that was a similar line to the to their Predator song. I caught that below. Now you've gotten to the chopper. That was the line that I'm pretty sure that was in that song. As a warrior, you should know what to say. As a warrior, you should know when to sur surrender, you know, warrior to warrior. Because he's a predator, apex predators, top of the food chain. He's saying you're not top of the food chain. I am, and it's also a reference to MKX, where the ending, the predator became an apex predator because he figured out magic. Ten out of ten battle. Big shout outs, humongousor shout out to Belo because he killed it as both Craven and the Predator, and the Predator is a hard fucking character to voice because he doesn't really have a voice. So when you have to create a voice for the character and have it fit, that is ten times harder. Well done, Below. Well fucking done. And like I said, this is very in character for both of them. A lot of cool little niche references. I like that, Below. I like that. A lot for me to break down. I love that. I love picking up all the little references. I love seeing the, you know, everybody does their research on this stuff. It's so cool to see. And it's, it gives it so much rewatchability because you can rewatch a battle. I'm like, oh, I can't believe I missed that. So great. Now, who do I think won? I think the Predator got it. I, I the, the, the fucking, the gun bar and the chameleon bar is what got it for me. I, I, I'm giving, the best punch Craven had was uh, the Chris Hansen bar. But I'm going to give it to Predator. I think my boy, the Predator, the Yatwa, I think he clutched that shit up. I think he got it. But let me know who you guys thought won in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. And as always, doop, 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 doop. <laughs>